Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I used this piece of information in two of my videos, uh, just as a matter of fact. Uh, and that was some uh, reports coming from the media that the Ukrainian forces landed on the left side, the left bank of the Dnieper River. That means in Kherson. That means they landed on the Russian occupied area. Okay. And I didn't use that, I just used the information on to, as a matter of fact. And now we have the Ukrainians coming and lying. Uh, it's either them lying now, or they lied there, or then, or both times. I don't know which one is it. Well, what of the three options? So let me show you. Ukraine Forum. This is Ukrainian multimedia platform for broadcasting. It doesn't really matter if it's Ukraine Forum. It's just who says it. It's a Ukrainian. So l listen to this. Spreading rumors about landing on the left bank of the Dnieper River harms defense forces. Humenyuk. You see this? Spreading rumors about landing on left bank of the Dnieper River, they say. Now, let me show you where that is, okay? Here. Here is the Dnieper River. You see here? This is Kherson Oblast here, in the bottom of the south. And this is the Dnieper River. And here is Novakakovka, where that dam was blown by the, we don't know yet. They say the Russians, the Russians say the Ukrainians, and you believe whoever you want, until they uh, conduct investigations. Uh, all right, so this is the Dnieper River, and the Ukrainians now, in this article right here, is spreading rumors is bad, because actually, it's, this is the left bank right here, where the Russians are. But... Wait a second, let's see who's saying that, because I got three articles here ready for you. Two from the Ukrainians, one from another <clears throat> trusted media outlet. So the Russian occupying forces justify their terrorist actions in the Kherson region by saying that they want to stop the defense forces, Ukrainian. Therefore, it is not necessary to replicate information about the actions of Ukrainian defenders, but to wait for official reports from the general staff. Now, this is Natalia Humenyuk, this is the official, the head of the Joint Press Center of the South Operational Command South, said this on air on the telethon United News. Commenting, commenting on the news about the alleged landing of the Defense Forces units on the left bank of Kherson region, Ukraine Forum reported. All right, let's see. The main task is to understand why such messages appear in the open space. It is clear why Russian propagandists are doing this. The news, oh, the messages. It is important for them to justify Russia's aggression towards the right bank, where people are really suffering a lot and the Russian justify it by saying that they want to stop the defense forces, prevent them from crossing the Dnieper River and prevent them from using their forces and reserves. They are trying to justify it as the destruction of the defense forces. So, did they land or did they didn't land? Humenyuk. In fact, she recalled, Russian troops themselves are bombing settlements on the left bank, which guided, guided uh, aerial bombs and also put a wool over local populations' eyes, saying that these are the consequences of the actions of the defense forces. How about you can do the same thing or you don't do? Or you don't do it because you're good and they do it because they're bad? Get out of here. And I'm going, therefore, in a hybrid war, it is very important to rely on the official data of the general staff as, as soon as there are an opportunity and need, necessity, expediency. We will definitely report the results of combat work. Today, we must remember about the lives of blah, 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 blah. So, they say the Russian propaganda? Huh? The main task is to understand why such messages appear in the open space. It is clear why Russian propagandists are doing this. It is important for them to justify Russian's aggression towards the right bank, where the people are... Pop, 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 pop. Uh, justify it by saying that they want to stop the defense forces, prevent them from crossing, and prevent them from using the forces and reserves. They are trying to justify it as a destruction of the defense forces. Well, let's see. Ukrainian Armed Forces tasks on the left bank of Kherson region. This is one day ago. You see that one day ago and the date over there? The date is 10-22-2023. Today is 
10, 2023. Who's that? RBC Ukraine. That's not Russia propaganda, is it? And they tell us, on the left bank of the Kherson region, left bank, right here, this is the Kherson, this is Kherson, and this is the left bank, this is the right bank, like with tards we have to do it. Jesus Christ, right? And it says here, the clearance of a part of the last bank is necessary to ease the life on the right bank, since the occupying forces continue to shell. It stated, the same person, Hemenyuk, commenting on the information from the an analyst of the American Institute of Study of War regarding the possible landing of Ukraine armed forces on the last left bank of the Kherson region, Hemenyuk said that it is too easy to assert this in a definitive tone, since these are the conclusions of analysts. All right? So he said, well, we don't know, um, we're going to do it, we don't know. All right, let's go to the next one. Ukrainska Pravda. Ukrainian forces consolidate in village on Kherson Oblast left bank. What is this? Ukrainska Pravda. So is this Russian propaganda here again? So the other one was, was uh, a Ukrainian. Look at it, right here. Ukrainian armed forces tasks on the left bank of Kherson River. And then you got, as I said, this one, Ukrainska Pravda. From the 20th of October 2023, Ukraine forces consolidate and they show you a map right there. They show you the map. Ukrainian forces consolidate continued larger than usual ground operations on the left eastern bank of Kherson Oblast on 20th October and consolidated their positions on the village of Krinki. Source Institute of Study of War. Who promoted it? Ukrainska Pravda. So who's the Russian propaganda here? First one is, is RBC Ukraine. Now we got Ukrainska Pravda, right? And guess what? We got the Bay Bay C. Bay Bay C, man. News right there. Five days ago. What do they say? Where's the title? I missed it. Yeah. Ukraine war. Kiev troop built up, reported across the Dnieper River. So are these Russian propaganda again? News? So when this person here, Hemenyuk, says spreading rumors about landing on the left bank of the Dnieper River harms defense forces. Rumors. Is this misinformation or disinformation? How, what is it from BBC? What is this from the Ukrainska Pravda? Misinformation with a map, my friends. Is this disinformation song or misinformation? And again, here, RBC, is this disinformation or fucking misinformation? So shut the f up. Jesus Christ, my friends. So annoying with this garbage. Oh, uh, 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 you, you said it. What, what, what was this? This is Ukraine form. Ukraine form, Ukrainska Pravda, and the new voice of Ukraine are the same. A governmental shit. All right? It's not like, oh, independent. Even if it's independent, as they say, they know what to, what to publish. Anyway, here it is, my friends. Uh, the Russian propaganda spreading rumors like BBC, Ukrainska Pravda, and uh, what was the other, RBC or whatever that was. So did they land or they didn't? Uh, they didn't, and I tell you why. Because the Ukrainians, I made an, a video yesterday, the Ukrainians called for a um, evacuation, mandatory evacuation for 23 settlements on the right bank of the Dnieper River, on the Ukrainian bank. So let me show you. So the Ukrainians called yesterday, I covered that in a video, on this bank right here, they said 23 settlements, they will uh, mandatory evacuation of children. And they said 800 and exactly two children will be evacuated from exactly 23 um, settlements. Why is that? S the Russians are coming, that's why. So this garbage that she says, uh, uh, in dangerous, uh, uh, not in dangerous shit. You're, the, these guys left you off their lap and they know you're, you're done. Why? Because they have another thing over there <clears throat> more important than you 50 fucking thousand times in the Middle East, if you know what I mean. So, bye-bye. See you when Putin uh, comes with a missile on Kiev or something. I don't know, man. It's so it's sad because these guys are playing a game where some people die. Right? Innocent people. That bothers me. The Ukrainians are just used. The Ukrainian population, that bothers me. By whom? By the Ukrainian Zelensky, Zelensky, Yermak, and Zhmihal, and uh, the defense minister now that he's a Tatar. I want to see where the fucking Ukrainians are. Oh, that guy, what's his name? Zaluzny. <laughs>
Why don't you uh, listen to what uh, McGregor said, colonel, former uh, U.S. colonel in the U.S. Army, McGregor. He said, well, we don't know if, if Zaluzny uh, follows orders at the gunpoint or not. I was like, oh, whoa, 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 what, 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 really? Well, it does. It's not surprising, but it was a little bit, uh, you say just like that, good. Just, I think you confirmed something that I've been saying before that. Something is going on over there, my friends, and I think the whole thing is breaking for the Ukrainians. And I hope that in this situation, I hope it breaks so we have peace. A uh, bad peace, but peace. Otherwise, you're going to have war because I don't think that. Ukraine will not beat Russia one on one. NATO is already incapable of beating Russia. And I think in about a week and a half, let's say, uh, let's say two, in the, no more than two weeks, something big is going to happen over there. I think the whole front is going to be like a, like a dam, like a levee, psh, breaks, and Russians are just going to pour that way. Too many dynamic situations and too many uh, evacuations on the right side of Dnieper, and not only, to be just a, uh, just, uh, you know, too much. I hope it all ends, and I hope no more lives are lost from uh, our people. Thank you very much for being with me again today. And when I say our people, I'm saying both sides. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.